A man was shot in the leg at a Baltimore adult entertainment club in the early hours of this morning. The second person shot inside the Hustler Club in less than a year now. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. WJZ is live on Baltimore Street. Paul Gessler puts the shootings into context and explains the continuing debate over a curfew. Paul. Yeah, Nikki, police say this happened about 1.30 this morning, not long before closing time on the second floor of the Hustler Club. Crime scene technicians collected evidence just a block away from Baltimore City Hall Friday morning after a man was shot in the leg inside Larry Flint's Hustler Club. The victim, only described as a 33-year-old man, is expected to survive. The shooting leaves those who work nearby speculating about the cause. Drinking, the women, the jealousy, I don't know. Drugs. Our detectives will go out and do what they always do, uh, go out and track these folks, find these folks, get information from our residents, do the great work that they do in the Baltimore Police Department. City police released this video of a person of interest in a shooting last year at the Hustler Club. It happened on the heels of an effort to impose a curfew on this stretch of adult entertainment known as the block. It was the target of a proposed 10 p.m. curfew last winter. Owners say it would have effectively shut them down. They might have a good point there, but uh, hey, they've been trying to do that for years. And once they shut them down one time, they reopen again. A compromise was ultimately reached where most club owners agreed to pay for police during peak hours and share camera footage. Hours after this morning's shooting, the mayor pointed out this violence happened in close proximity to police, its headquarters just a block away. There, well, there's always, uh, always a presence on the block from law enforcement. We know the issues that have been there for many, 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 many generations. Everywhere in Baltimore where we have those issues, we'll make sure the resources are there. Mm, I don't know what to say, man. It's sad. I don't go in these clubs down here. That's why I just go to work, go home, and pray every day. All we can do is pray, man. Back live now. So far, city police have not answered any of our questions regarding whether there are any police officers either on site or inside the club that night or this morning uh, uh, for the shooting, or if any video captured either the incident or the aftermath. We're live on the block tonight. I'm Paul Gessler for CBS News Baltimore.